Hello YouTube and YouTube subscribers. Um, recently my tank, a bunch of my fish developed calamus worms. I think they've actually had the worms for quite a few months and I think that's what killed off some of my cherry barbs. But I got very sick and tired of seeing them sticking out my fish's butt so I actually took these tweezers and I caught the fish and I pulled the worms out. Um, I did that a couple days ago and the only fish I had that were infected them were my cherry barbs. I think my um, bumblebee catfish has passed. Since I did a thorough clean in my tank, I uh, did a thorough gravel clean and stuff to get try to get rid of uh, the calamus worms' eggs, and I very gently pulled them out of my fish using the tweezers. So um, one of the cherry barbs, he must have had like six or probably about a dozen or so worms in them. Um, the other two that are still alive don't seem to have any more um, calamus worms in them, but these are these ones I just pulled out of my male cherry barb and I think that's two and last time I think I probably pulled out much more than this but I think that's the last one um, that's the reason why I'm doing this this way is because um, the actual uh, basically the anti the most effective anti-parasite um, treatment is a chemical that's illegal in Canada so I can't acquire it so basically the way I'm going to treat this is, I'm just going to do heavy thorough water changes and I'm going to consistently uh, gravel clean because uh, the larvae of these worms, they reside in the uh, gravel. And by doing that, it'll decrease chances of my fish getting infected over and over again. But I'm pretty sure none of the fish right now have any uh, mature worms in them. They could have our worms develop and if they come back, I'm getting the tweezers again to pull them out. And as for pulling them out with the tweezers, you gotta be really careful because you got you have to make sure you don't break the worm inside the fish. And it's definitely going to be easier on larger fish to pull the worm out. Sometimes some of the smaller fish that are infected with the worms, you're probably gonna to have to euthanize them though, simply because uh, you'll probably damage their body if you use the tweezers on them. But uh, I did manage to get the worms out. You just have to make sure you be very very careful. I've done multiple times before and it has worked in the past. But as for these worms, I hate them. They are one of the worst things I've ever seen. They can cause your fish to kind of waste away. And uh, it's uh, their pain he has to deal with. So uh, thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe.